just saw me sitting here by Diego and she's coming to say hi. I want to get a clear shot of that eye. I hope I can get the rim to show you guys that little blue rim on his eye. This cat is so perfect. Even if you look at the little hair on his ears, each and every one is just perfect. I just saw him sitting here or lying down. I thought let me quickly come and say hi to him. When he's lying down like that, it's really difficult to move him. I remember when Enzo, oh yes Enzo also. I remember when Enzo used to lie next to me and you try and move him. The skin is so loose, the whole tiger moves inside the skin. <laughs> that sounds funny, but it's true. If you try and shift him from one side of the bed to the other, it's basically impossible because it's like you've got a three or four hundred pounds inside the bag <laughs> with fur. <laughs> And he just rolls around in that bag of fur. And I remember trying to move Enzo up one night as he was sleeping. And eventually we gave up and we said, no, Enzo's not going to move over. He's lying across the bed. He won't get up. He's watching us with those big eyes. And he's just not realizing that we also want to get into bed. So good memories ridiculously good memories <laughs> and you know to explain it to someone it's not something that you can just explain and they understand it because you have to actually be there to experience it to feel this how he moves around in that skin ah he doesn't like me doing that now just off to his tail. I've noticed when I talk here by the tigers they get a little irritated by too much talking. They are used to to always having peace and quiet and even when I talk to them just look at that. Can you believe how irritated he gets with me talking all the time? This is new to me because I haven't been making these vlogs for a long time. So, I've noticed yesterday also that Enzo got a little irritated. Let me go see where he is. Hello, Sienna. just taking a walk now he was sleeping the whole morning only got up now <laughs> there's two or three flies that's bothering him that's the one thing about South Africa when we get to summer we tend to do get a couple of flies around what helps controlling the flies is the geckos. These little lizards, they're usually all around and they actually eat all these, they eat all these flies. I have to say the cat sometimes gets the lizards, but I rescue them, put them back on side but the lizards do control the flies a lot 
and the thing is to control uh, how, how can I put it when, when there's any food left over from the tigers uh, I had a lot of ants that would come out of the ground and they would come and eat the leftover uh, food and that's, that was helping me a lot with cleaning up we got a little bit of a flood about two years ago and I think most of those ants drowned and I really miss those ants because they were really making my life much easier so even in this area a little ecosystem has already evolved and uh, started to just work you know but I don't like to kill anything at all um, so yeah I miss those ants they really made my life much easier and uh, it's not there I remember also if there's any food that's left over for too long if it's a bit big the flies will go and lie eggs on those pieces of meat and the ants would come and only eat the eggs up until a time when the meat is going down so bad that they leave the eggs because then they would be larvae that, that uh, uh, maggots that would uh, come out of there and eat the meat so they do know exactly what they're doing even that little fly knows exactly what its job is yeah he's getting irritated with me talking all the time so I guess he's taking a walk away from me <laughs> they're very sensitive I think any animal for that matter is very sensitive uh, these tigers have had much more of a, how can I put it, of a situation without being in the wild where they are able to to change a little bit they they don't have only one job to find food they've also got how can I put it, they've got a job of living uh, their personalities has evolved much further than just being a wild animal they have to also how can I this is a little bit difficult to explain but they are they've got more than just killing on their minds they want to play they eat they want to sleep they they also get entertainment uh, from from us the people around them so yeah, I think in the wild they don't really get an opportunity to develop in such a way and uh, that's something to think about you know it's like if you had to take someone from a hundred years ago and show them everything that we have today I guess they would be they will have more to do and they will develop further uh, I had a question of someone asking me why does Diego spray me well at this stage of his life he's spraying everything so I guess it's just because he wants to I don't think he's trying to show dominance or anything that way yeah, he is getting ready to go take a nap you hear all those cracking as he walks up he's quite heavy and I'll probably just look over the walls a little bit he likes to do that watching the cars listening what some people that walk past he likes to listen in on them <laughs> just watching everything now Fast asleep within the next 
five minutes. Don't know where Enzo went. I think he walked to the other side. Coming back. Our weather is absolutely perfect. The rainy season will start in a month or two. These days, we're not really sure anymore. Things have changed a little bit. Look at this tree. Actually, in a day or two, it got perfectly green. Every morning when you get up, it's more green than the next, than the, than the previous day. And every time Enzo walks past me or a cat or a dog, he greets him. They've got very good manners. <laughs> well, that's it. I'm going to be going now. Thanks for watching. I'll answer a couple of more questions pretty soon. Hope you have a good day.